This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. If else predict. Cool. Read through the following program, paying special attention to the if else block on line 10. After sc discussing the following questions with your partner, hi partner, you're now my partner, person on the other side of the computer, write down your predictions and run the code to see what the program does. What happens when you press the space bar? What happens when you don't press the space bar? So I'm going to talk about this with you, right? I'm going to walk through it. Keep in mind, plagiarism is a thing, so don't do that. When we do write something and hit run, also keep in mind that submits to your teacher. You cannot edit it after you hit run. All right. So I'll talk about it. I'll write something, but you must write something in your own words. You found this. Your teacher can find this. All right. Scary stuff. Let's talk. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's my sprite balloon. We set the animation and we make it a bit smaller with scale. Then we're hitting our draw loop. Keep in mind, draw loop runs 30 times a second. We white out the background. We say if key down space, so, and this is a Boolean check, right? We're saying if, or this is a conditional, um, and we get a Boolean in response. If the key down, what key down? Space. We're asking the computer a question. Is the space key down? If it is, the computer will say true. If this is true, it should run the code inside. We know all of this, right? If this is true, it runs this chunk of code. If this is false, then nope, I'm not holding down the key. I'm not holding down space. I'm holding down uh, uh, escape. It doesn't really matter. As long as I'm not holding down space key, this will never run inside this mouth thing. This if it can't run and it just continues as normal. Now we know all that. We've seen that a bunch, but think about this. Just think about the language. If space keys down. So let's say that's false. I'm not holding the space key down. What could this else thing be? Well, if space key down, the computer says false, you're not doing that. That's not true. Else, hmm, maybe otherwise could be a word for it. So if the space key's down, use the counter pattern and set the balloon scale to be, the balloon scale is now equal to whatever the balloon scale used to be equal to plus 0 0.2. So we're slowly inflating it. As it runs 30 times a second, if I hold down space, the scale goes up by 0 0.2 each time, right? However, if I'm not holding down space, otherwise, what looks to be happening? Well, it looks like the balloon's new value will equal to the old value minus 0 0.1, right? So it looks like it will be deflating. So if this is true, this will always run, and then I think it's over, right? Because it wouldn't need else because this is true, right? It wouldn't need otherwise. If this is not true, it doesn't run this, so this is false. Okay, well then otherwise run this and only this chunk runs it runs one or the other all right let me see here how to word that all right what i put and again you must put this in your own words otherwise that's plagiarism your teacher will find it all right if we hold down and it's immoral if we hold down the space key the balloon inflates i might not need that comment the size would increase by 0.2 each time the draw loop runs. Yeah, so if I'm holding it down, the balloon increases. Otherwise, if we don't have the space key down, the balloon shrinks by 0.1 each time the draw loop runs. Let's test. Okay, so the balloon shrinking, space, let go, Whoop. space, let go, Whoop. onward. <laughs> cool.